All right, we got some more e-bike box of awesomeness in, and an e-bike order. Uh, ordered this for their little airsoft con sale. I don't remember what I ordered. I can't know if it's a. I know I ordered a plate carrier. They had one for forty-five dollars. I think it's like one that people don't normally get. For a camo color option or something, I don't know. God damn, this thing is huge. <laughs> I was worried it was gonna be too small. This thing is gigantic. Look at this thing. I can feel the plates in it too. It already comes with plates. I guess I didn't need to order the foam plates then. At least we'll make it thicker. I think it's got plates in it already. Like little bendy plates. But man, this thing is big gonna be awesome wearing this thing. Should we probably just fit into it right now. <laughs> I didn't even have to undo the freaking Velcro sides. I'll have to adjust it. I want to sit. Well, actually, this is pretty good right here. It just needs to be tightened up a little bit more. Oop. Okay, well, that came right off. Uh. Oh, okay, they're not fastened down. So, this is pretty cool. You get double pistol mag pouches. Plenty of M4 mag space. Except for these, I don't think. It's not like very big. I don't think you're going to get two of them in here. I thought they said it was for doubles, but I don't think so. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, maybe if you stretch it out or something, possibly, you might be able to get two of them in there, but I doubt it. But still, you can hold five with this right out of the bag, right out of the box. This is that US uh, MC Cirrus or something, something like that. It's pretty awesome. I want to get the Woodland Digital next, obviously, get the Woodland Digital shirt, mag. Uh, from my last video, I, uh, remember I said I was going to keep that pistol, that EMG pistol I got, but I ended up keeping the, uh, DMR instead. <laughs> so I switched that up a little bit, but I wanted, a, uh, you know, it's got a longer barrel, so I added some little attachments to it. I got I don't know if I'm going to change anything on the inside of it yet, but I ordered a bunch of different little woodland digital things for it. Stubby grip. Yeah. I believe most of this is die. I think all of this is die tack other than my mags, which are uh, G and G or G and P. G and P. Troy Industries magazine little dragon scale detail on them these things are pretty sweet they match all my gun parts so yeah i got a scope ordered for it but let's go ahead and get back to unboxing shit what did i get um oh yeah olive drab or od green OD Green. Uh, what is this? Pistol mag pouch. I'm just trying to collect all kinds of different little camo things and non camo things so I can get different color plate carriers and stuff. Battery. Gotta have those. Unless you're just a spring sniper. Little sappy plates or whatever. Foam plates. For the plate carrier, they come with two of them to get the front and the back. Medium strike face. Those will definitely fit in there if it opens up. Those are EMG Professional EVA Sappy Plates. Now for the box of awesomeness. Uh, I don't remember which one this one is. It's the Airsoft Con something with jig. You had a chance of getting a that awesome demolition ranch gun, which I'm pretty sure this is not because this box was heavy and it's 
I think it was like 17 and a half pounds, but there's a swag pack in here as well. So, let's see what we got. Did I do that? I don't know if I did that. It's like a little puncture in the back of the gun box. But we know what this is because I've seen people open it in theirs. Oh, and you can see it right in there. So we got the Saima Full Metal. Uh, I don't even know what the hell this one was. It looks cool though. I like the handguard on it. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, whatever the hell it had. Gosh. Foam and everything comes out on this one. Got the little unjamming rod. Comes with a bag. Uh, probably really shitty BBs. Don't use them. Ooh. What the hell is this thing? I don't know what that is. So it might be some internal part. I've never opened one of them up, so I don't know yet. Hey. I really don't know what the hell that is. This thing's really heavy, though. It's all metal, too. That's why this thing is solid. Holy shit. It looks really cool. I don't know, maybe I'll end up keeping this thing. I gotta test this sucker out and see what it does. Oh, so that one just flips up, the other one doesn't just flip up on its own? Okay. You got two side options on it. And I'll have the model of this gun in the description, so people looking for it can come and look at this video and check it out a little bit. I wonder if all the serial numbers say that or if this was the 50th one made. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be cool if this was number 50. <clears throat> Hop up version. I would hope so. Okay. So you got ambidextrous mag relays. And that's it. You only get mag release on both sides. I like that though. So that means we got... What the hell's the pistol? That would be... Well, no, that could have been... I don't think it's an SAI, because I didn't see a white box. Fucking clothes. God damn it. <laughs> uh, this thing's up, that's why. Okay, maybe not. I don't know why the hell it's not closing. Close! Look at this shit. Go down. And stay down. I guess you gotta push it back through. Okay. That's kind of jank. But alright. <clears throat> I won't be keeping this gun anyway. I think it's heavy as shit, man. I don't want to carry that thing around. Way too heavy. I think that's heavier than my DMR. Uh, this must be my swag pack. The last time I got some little plasticky silencer pistol, this time they actually sent, I think, something a little bit of a step up. It's probably like a $20 gun, $25. I'm sure this is spring. Yeah, this is a spring pistol. Oh, hex, ma hex patch. Geek. I don't want to wear that one. Yeah, yeah. This is a spring pistol. is so annoying. Plastic film. There's a little bit more quality than the other plastic ones I got, but I mean, it's still plastic pistol. Oh man, I bet this thing fucking hurts. <laughs> 
The other ones were not, uh, they were a heck of a lot easier to pull back than this one. Ooh, man. I bet that one's got a little punch to it for a little tiny springy pistol. Hmm. That one's cool. It actually kind of, I mean, it feels pretty solid for just being stupid plastic. Huh. It's pretty cool. We might have to give that gun away, actually. We might do a giveaway with that. I don't need a spring pistol. Elite Force. This is not the green gas one, though. Nope, CO2. See, I want a green gas one. I don't really want to mess with the little stupid, annoying CO2 cartridges. Let's see this. You've probably already seen plenty of videos with these in them. But I do not have one of these yet. The only 1911 I got in was that plastic one right there, and then the, that little, what was it, Matrix Del Detonix Mini 1911. This is a full-size one. This thing's pretty cool. But, yeah, I don't want to deal with that CO2 stuff. I can carry a green gas can around with me. Yeah, this thing's cool, but I would have much rather had that uh, SAI one this time around. I really was hoping I would gonna, was going to get that one. I've gotten two SAI so far in my other two uh, Evic boxes. Yeah, it's pronounced Evic, I guess. I always call it Evike. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I was really hoping for that one because the high kappa. I was hoping that it would go with that uh, that mag that has the little HPA doodad on the bottom of it so you can run an HPA pistol. <clears throat> I thought that would be pretty cool to kind of get into HPA with that. I could at least get my tank and my regulator and stuff and it would be a lot cheaper than starting off with a rifle. Because I already got a bunch of cool rifles. So it's not like I'm in a hurry to get an HPA rifle. Unless I can somehow get one of those new Crytac 47 Tridents or whatever the hell they are. The AK-47 ones that are coming out are, are already out. No, they were supposed to be out pretty soon. I would love to have one of those. And it would be even better to have it HPA. But, yeah. That's my box of awesomeness. And some gear I got. And... Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, shit.